You think you know. The transformation you appear to make in this movie is uh, going to be startling to, to many of your fans. How did you do it and how long did it take you? It took about five months and uh, I did it by, um, I met a guy, I was introduced to a guy in, in uh, London. His name is Simon Watterson and he sort of specializes in that kind of thing. You know, when, when I accepted the role and had conversations with Rob, uh, and read the script, that was just an image that I, I saw that this guy would look like that. And um, so um, they put me in touch with Simon and, and I was in London doing a play at the time. Mm -hmm. And so we got, it, we, we, we got together and I told him what I was looking to do. And he came back with a bunch of reference material and I sort of, you know, said kind of like that and sort of like that. And he, he went and designed a program basically, you know, a nutritional program for the five months or six months through the shooting as well. And then, um, and a workout program that we, we started doing while I was in London, still doing the play, you know, we, we work out together every day. And it was just um, really intense. I mean, the workouts were, you know, an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes long, but they weren't, you, you just never stopped moving in mm -hmm. them. They were sort of circuit designed, mm -hmm. no rest, so that the workout itself became uh, really cardiovascular. And then he asked me to do a lot of cardio on my own, sort of treadmill running for 45 minutes or so. And then he was designing a nutritional thing where the food just showed up. <laughs> and there were two companies that, that the, the company in the UK, I think it's Pure Packages and then NutriFit and here in, in Los Angeles. And uh, wherever I was, whatever hotel I happened to be staying in at the time, because you know, I ended up shooting two films at the same time, mm. that, that food would just show up and I only ate what I got. And uh, it started happening pretty quickly. I mean, even in the first six weeks in London, I started really seeing uh, weight coming off and starting you know, towards this idea that I had. Did you feel like you were in the best shape of your life? Like, how did you actually feel? I felt more in tune with those energy level drops. And I did have mm. them, but you know, w the way that he structured that, uh, number one, I think we took enough time, we had five months that my metabolism shifted mm. over to where it was accepting of the fact that I was only taking in sometimes as little as 1,200 calories a day, sometimes as high as 1,500, he, he varied that. And it was so structured, you know, it was a breakfast, a snack, a lunch, a snack, and a dinner. And a lot of times those snacks were just like really low, low carbohydrate protein. And so I would feel myself right before the time. My body just got on this yeah. intense clock where even on days where I was shooting, when 10 o'clock rolled around at about 9.30, I felt myself start to, you know, yeah. and you'd have to have that protein. And then you'd feel yourself go like, boom, I'm fueled up. And then right before lunch, you'd start to feel it again. And then you have a lunch with more protein. And so you just sort of are, you're more aware of it than you are when you're kind of in, in a, where, like where I am now. I mean, I just don't feel it as intensely as I felt it then. Looking back at it now, was it harder than you thought it was going to be? Or was it, you know, you thought it would be this tough and this is what it was? It's always harder than you think it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I find that with every single thing I do. You, you read a script and you have all these images in your mind and you're trying to put together the pieces and trying to figure out the guy. And then you feel like you have a really good internal sort of concept of what makes the person tick. And then you get to shooting it and it always is harder than you think it's going to be.